Hey everyone, this is the Jose Fruit 2 back again. This is 366 Days of Cards, and it's time for, you guessed it, another deck review. Today's deck review is The Sifters. And you can see the front of the box, it says Sifters in an ampliogram, so you can look at it like this, or like this. So when you look at it, it still says Sifters. So that's kind of cool. At the bottom it says Playing Cards, and you'll see here there's also a fancy S. One side, it says distributed by Twisted Tricks in Saratoga, California, made in the USA. Never heard of them. The other side says Sifters Playing Cards, blue. And there's even a little blue S in there. Top says Sifters 1821, which I guess is their number like a, like a bicycle is 808. And then the bottom says First Edition Theron Magic, never heard of them either. First edition tells me that there might be future editions. And that's not the only thing that tells me that. Um, more than that in a bit. And the back shows you the back design. Again, uh, there's no white borders on here just because the whole box is blue. But that's your back design basically. And then there's a black seal on the flap. There's uh, some trademark information. Just TwistedTricks.com. I may have to check that out. We'll pull this out. Oops, what is that? Part of the seal, I think. Anyway, we got a couple of uh, basic ad cards, I guess. This one has an S on it, just like on the back of the cards. And there's your back of the cards. Again, there's that ambiogram sifters, no matter which way you look at it. Kind of like the uh, Phantom deck I just got, and also like the Enigma deck. Enigma deck, not dick. <laughs> and that's what you get, and it's got that S, and then it's just got a blue pattern to it. Looks pretty cool. Some might say it's similar to the LTD deck, but whatever. It's blue. <laughs> it's not the same. Then you got this card. It says sifters on it. Take a way look at it in the back design. The faces are a standard bicycle, basically. Jokers look like this. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's just some kind of weird J. And then what you get is a gesture type guy. And he looks like he's spraying some cards. And it's a mirror image. It's reversible. Don't see that too often on Jokers. And you get two of them. cards are standard bicycle same with all the faces and the only other card to look at is this one the ace of spades it's pretty nice it's got a lot of intricate details and line work but yeah it's just pretty straightforward spade bit and it's just sifters on the bottom and then you even got what looks like some s's in here for sifters so that's pretty cool And then here's the back design. Pretty cool, like I said. I, I already mentioned that. And they have a nice, good stock and finish. Again, I'm not entirely sure what the stock and finish is. I do believe that there will be a red deck in this one, I'm guessing. And possibly future editions. And the reason why I say that is because it says pretty plainly on the bottom first edition, and also it says on the side blue. Yeah. It wouldn't make a big deal about the color of the cards or the edition if there wasn't a, isn't wasn't you know plans for to decks, so at the very least, you know, they're considering that. Anyways, these cards are pretty nice. Uh, the back design is, you know, <clears throat> it's not out of this world or anything like that, but it's not bad. I do like it. 
and you can get these at tannins.com or if you go to the tannins shop if you're in New York I believe they're exclusive sellers of them but you may see them on other resellers eventually I guess and that is the shifters pretty nice you should probably check them out that's what I got for today I'll see you next time